Hello guys and welcome to this new Blender Grease Pencil 3.0 video. Today I just have a present for you. I upgraded the brushes from the official Grease Pencil 2.0 brushes pack to be compatible with Grease Pencil 3.0. We have all the brushes and we have one bonus brush that I made. This flowers brush here. All you need to do is to go to my Gumroad, download the pack, install it and you are good to go upgrading the brushes is a manual process it took a lot of time and i also uncovered some bugs and reported them especially a bug with the randomized hue saturation and uh, value here that was fixed thankfully by grease pencil and line art developer yiming Wu. i have instructions along with the pack on two ways to install the brushes but the simplest way is to go to edit preferences you go here under file paths and you add a new path and you navigate to a folder in which you put your brushes so choose a folder in your computer and then go here and add that folder as a new path here the name of the folder will be displayed here and you are good to go that's the simplest way i also want to show you if you have a custom brush in blender 4.2 or lower and you want to upgrade it to uh, blender 4.3 4.4 and up how you can upgrade that custom brush the first thing you need to do is to go to a blend file in which there is that brush by using the append feature so you go under file and then append and then you find your blender file and double click on it and then find the material folder and choose the material that your brush uses you choose that material and do append you will then need to go to the materials panel here and add a new material we have here an empty slot so from here you go and find your material that you just appended and add it so it is added to the active materials i guess then let's go here to the tool panel and then you need to duplicate one of the brushes in blender for example i don't know this one the pen brush so you select it and then you go here and you do duplicate asset and then from there you start customizing that brush so let's do duplicate asset and now we have a new brush you can name it whatever and save and then you can choose a new here preview image to change the thumbnail here navigate to the image of your thumbnail and choose it of course then you choose your material here the material that we just appended and then you can customize the radius the strength and all the settings here you can find those settings here under here for the radius we have different units so you need to adjust and maybe put blender the latest blender version and blender 4.2 for example put them like this side by side and you can compare the settings of your brushes like this first we have the radius you can try to have the same size here if you can't match them like this you can use control mid mouse button to increase the size or the, the zoom slowly like this and now we have the same size here and here if you have this big size here you can go here and try to do f but first we need to select our window here so f and increase and try to have the same size too big like this that's because we don't have the same units see here we have 2000 pixels and here we have meters and then the strengths also you need to see if you have pressure sensitivity enabled or disabled and do the same here and do everything manually if you have custom curves here for example let's left click here and add a new point and move maybe this one down here you can click on one of these points and get the values from here of course you will need this only if you have pressure sensitivity enabled here we have only two points so we click in the middle to add another point and then we click on one point we get these two values and we select this point we copy the values here we do the same with this one and the same with the last one we do the same with the second graph too then you go to the advanced settings and copy your settings and then to the stroke settings and also 
you copy the settings so under post processing if it's enabled or disabled with the values here randomize stabilize all these settings here and of course the color yes the vertex color you can choose vertex or material color here it's material so we change to vertex and we copy the color copying the color is easy you make this window active you do control c after hovering of course with your mouse pointer and then you go again here activate the window and do control v and you have your color then you go here on top and you do save changes to asset and congratulations you did it if you want to learn more about brushes in blender 4.3 plus i will link to a video by paul Ka Gigi and also a video by Sophie Gentak, who is by the way pregnant in her ninth month. So congratulations. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, download the pack and enjoy. Don't forget the P people in your prayers and deeds. The E cleansing attempt is still going on by big dark forces led by an orange guy. See you in another video and peace.